Okay, in this clip I'm just going to show a couple of uh, Rhino tools for manipulating and assisting a structural analysis model. In this particular steel frame, which is a pretty simple example, uh, you can see at first glance it looks okay. If you shrink the elements away from their edges, you can see there's one difference on this particular column. Uh, it does have nodes along it, but a lot of them are unconnected, including at this junction here with the beams and braces. So one way of trying to determine discontinuities or where elements aren't quite expected as you expect is to bring the model into into Rhino, have it drawn, and then you'll notice in the toolbar a new button which enables you to contour connectivity. So what this does is draw a text stop at each node. At this node here there are six elements framing into it. And using the graphical type view you can quickly see that there's zero elements connected to these two nodes here. Uh, so for a more complex uh, connect element with lots of connections, this is quite a useful feature. The other new tool that's uh, quite useful for, sub for structures that have some form of symmetry is in the structural draw tool set, which enables you to enable an event watcher so that as soon as you uh, move a node, the plugin looks for any other nodes within tolerance uh, in the other quadrants and moves them accordingly. So I can grab any node and I can move it slightly and you can see the plugin has identified the three other nodes and the other coordinates and shifted them accordingly um, for this particular stru structure with the <coughs> um, unconnected nodes the, the structure that loses its, its symmetry but the node positions don't. So it's very useful for things like stadiums and other projects like that with symmetry to reduce the amount of work you want to do by moving nodes in one quadrant and having the other quadrants update accordingly.